Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be completing a MIG 2G butt joint. So we set our voltage at 17.5 volts and we've got our wire speed coming out at 4 meters per minute. And to ensure that we're getting penetration through both sides we are pointing straight at the joints. As good practice we like to stick to a consistent flat base so that's why we grind our route back and get a nice surface so that this allows us to move on to the second run which you can see now. This is known as the hot pass. So for this hot pass we turned our voltage up to 18.4 volts and we've kept the wire speed the same. And all we're looking to do is get a run on top and start filling the material and ensure that it fuses into both sides of the plate. Don't forget guys if you like these videos be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get first dibs on our future content. Now moving on, we're now moving on to the flushing run so we're going to do split these runs now into two. So the first run, as you can see, what we're doing is we're going from one side of the plate, ensuring that we fuse into that bottom edge while ensuring that we build up to the center of the joint. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video as we've got a question that we're going to test your welding knowledge on. So we're now on to our second flushing run, which is just bringing it just before the edge of the plate. So as you can see, we're now fusing the opposite side of the plate, whilst also ensuring that we hit the peak of the last weld. This will ensure that there's no welding defects in there, such as missed edge or cracks. This in my eyes is the most important run, as you've got to make sure that you're level with both runs, because that will set you up for your capping run. If you're not level, what you'll end up in is something called no man's land. When you're in no man's land, you've got an uneven weld underneath you and then when you go to cap, it's going to be uneven and not give you the best base to put your final finishing run on top. One thing we do have to be careful with is gravity is going to constantly pull us down so we must ensure that we're aware of this and if it goes wrong we can quickly correct it. So we've finally moved on to the capping run and as you can see we've got a nice even base to work from. Here's the important question. I want you to stop the video now and tell me how many runs you think this is going to take to cap. Pop your answers in the comments below and then resume the video. So we're moving nice and steadily and straight down the joint and we're starting to come towards the end of that joint now. And as you can see from this picture that's about to show up now, what we can see is we've not missed the edge down the joint which allows us to move on to our second capping run. So for the second run, what we're trying to do is keep the weld bead the exact same size as the last one, but we've got to spread it a tiny bit to ensure that we come up to the center of the last weld. This will ensure that we keep a nice flat surface on top. When you first start your welding journey, your capping runs aren't always going to be the best. However, that doesn't mean that you're committed to the capping run that you previously put down. If something does go horribly wrong or it's wonky or not straight, all you would need to do is take a grinder, grind it nice and straight and bring it back to the previous base level. So we're now moving on to our final capping run which is the third run so congratulations if you guessed three. So for this run we just put a slight slight tilt on the angle of the gun so we made it about 15 degree tilt as you can see the difference from the previous runs. This is just to ensure that we get it penetrated into that top edge whilst also ensuring that the weld builds up to the last welding run. This will ensure that we get no welding defects in there such as missed edge and that we've got a nice smooth finish. If you want to see more of our videos make sure you click one of these suggested videos that you can see on your screen now. Thank you for watching as always. Here's the finished product of the final three runs. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you very much guys.